Welcome to my channel. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Tonight, we confront a real and urgent danger, one that could change the Philippines forever. Deep beneath the South China Sea, the Manila Trench is building up immense pressure. Scientists warn it could unleash a catastrophic magnitude 8.4 earthquake at any time. This isn't just a tremor. It's an event that could shatter cities and threaten millions of lives. The epicenter sits alarmingly close to Manila, a megacity packed with people and infrastructure. The silence from the trench is deceptive. It's the calm before a possible disaster. Recent studies have brought this hidden threat into focus, urging immediate attention. The real danger isn't just the quake, but the tsunami it could trigger racing toward Luzon's coastlines with little warning. Such an event could paralyze the capital, devastate provinces, and spark a humanitarian crisis. Tonight, we break down the science, the risks, and what you can do to protect your family. Understanding the threat is the first step. The clock is ticking. What we do now will shape our survival. The Manila Trench is a massive scar on the ocean floor, running just 100 kilometers off Luzon's coast. It's a subduction zone, where the Eurasian Plate dives beneath the Philippine Sea Plate, building up colossal stress. This trench is over 1,300 kilometers long and more than 5,000 meters deep in places. Scientists are alarmed because it hasn't produced a major quake in centuries, meaning energy is still building. If it ruptures, the seismic waves would hit land almost instantly, causing violent shaking. The underwater rupture would also displace huge volumes of water, generating a devastating tsunami. We've learned from disasters like the 2004 Indian Ocean and 2011 Japan tsunamis. This trench shares the same deadly characteristics. Its silence isn't safety, it's a warning. The longer it stays quiet, the more powerful the eventual quake will be. The Manila Trench is a sleeping giant at the nation's doorstep. We must not ignore it. Imagine bending a plastic ruler. Pressure builds until it snaps. That's what's happening deep beneath the Manila Trench. The Eurasian and Philippine sea plates are locked together, storing energy for centuries. When the friction finally gives, the plates will lurch past each other, releasing energy in seconds. This sudden movement sends seismic waves racing outward, shaking the ground violently. For a magnitude 8.4 quake, the rupture could stretch for hundreds of kilometers, with shaking lasting minutes. The longer the shaking, the greater the destruction. The Manila Trench's long silence means the ruler is bent to the breaking point. When it snaps, it won't be a minor tremor, it will be catastrophic. Living near a subduction zone means living with this hidden tension. The ground beneath us is not as stable as it seems. We must respect the forces at work below. Preparation is our only defense. What would a magnitude 8.4 quake mean for Manila and Luzon's coast? The ground would shake violently. Older buildings would collapse. Roads and bridges would be destroyed. Power and communication would fail, plunging millions into chaos. Emergency services would be crippled, hospitals overwhelmed, and fires could break out from ruptured gas lines. In the aftermath, millions would be left homeless, struggling for water, food, and medical care. Then comes the tsunami, massive waves racing toward the coast within minutes. Towns like Subic and Iba would have almost no time to evacuate. Even Manila Bay could flood, swamping critical infrastructure and homes. The economic and humanitarian toll would be staggering, with recovery taking years. This isn't exaggeration. It's what happens when a mega-thrust quake hits a crowded region. The question isn't if we can stop it, but if we can survive it. Only preparation can tip the odds. The time to act is now. We've seen the devastation mega-thrust quakes can cause. In 2004, a 9.1 quake near Sumatra triggered a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. In 2011, Japan's 9.0 quake and tsunami overwhelmed even the world's best defenses, causing massive loss and the Fukushima disaster. 
Both disasters began in subduction zones, just like the Manila Trench. The Philippines is even closer to its trench than Tokyo was to Japan's epicenter, meaning less warning and more intense shaking. These tragedies are warnings, robust warning systems, evacuation plans, and public education save lives. We must learn from their pain. Ignoring these lessons would be a grave mistake. The time to prepare is before disaster strikes. The Philippines isn't defenseless. FIVOLCS, the National Earthquake Agency, monitors the country's faults and volcanoes 24-7. Their seismic stations detect even the faintest tremors, pinpointing quakes within minutes. For the Manila Trench, this network is crucial. Any movement triggers immediate analysis. FIVOLCS also issues tsunami warnings, using models to predict wave size and impact zones. Warnings go out through media, local governments, and mobile alerts, giving coastal communities precious minutes to evacuate. But for a Manila Trench tsunami, the window may be less than 20 minutes. That's why Fivio LCS urges. If you feel strong shaking near the coast, don't wait. Move to higher ground immediately. Technology is vital, but public awareness and quick action save lives. The watchful eye of Fivio LCS is our first line of defense. But everyone must know what to do when the ground shakes. Preparation starts at home. Every family needs a go bag, water, food, first aid, flashlight, radio, and whistle. Enough for 72 hours. Practice drop, cover, and hold on with your family. Set a meeting place in a safe, open area. If you live near the coast, know your evacuation route to high ground. Walk it with your family. Designate an out-of-town contact for emergency communication. Make sure everyone has this contact info written down. Secure heavy furniture and objects, and know how to shut off gas, water, and electricity. These simple steps can save lives and prevent injuries. Preparation doesn't cost much, but it makes all the difference. Don't wait for disaster. Act now. Your family's safety depends on it. Surviving a disaster of this scale takes a national effort. Regular earthquake drills build muscle memory. Everyone must take them seriously. Strong building codes save lives, but they must be enforced and old structures retrofitted. Education is key. Children should learn about earthquake and tsunami risks early. Public awareness campaigns must reach every community, in every language. Local leaders need resources and training to develop disaster plans and response teams. A resilient nation is built from the ground up. Every community must be ready to act before outside help arrives. Drills, codes, and education are our best defense. The time to strengthen them is now. Preparedness is everyone's responsibility. Surviving the big one is a shared responsibility. Government must lead. Funding science, enforcing codes, and training responders. But every citizen must prepare. Educate your family make a plan, and participate in drills. Complacency is our enemy. Thinking, it won't happen to me, is dangerous. Businesses, media, NGOs, and communities all play vital roles in building resilience. When everyone works together, we create a safety net stronger than any single effort. The threat from the Manila Trench is real and urgent, but not a death sentence. Our survival depends on readiness, not prediction. Talk to your family tonight. Pack your go bag. Join the next drill. Demand action from leaders. What we do now will decide our future.